Today we're going to be going over how to size up or size down a crocheted pattern. Now my specialty is plush, so I'm not really sure how well this would translate into clothing, but this is a guaranteed method for plushies. So this, both of these are the Spooky Spider Crochet Pattern by Lizzie B. I'll leave a link to the uh, pattern below. And um, this one does, it is a bit bigger on the abdomen because I added the brain. The base pattern doesn't include the brain section that's my own, just like this part doesn't include the skull. But as you can see, they are two vastly different sizes. And I actually have an even bigger size that I'll show you in just one moment. So for my littlest one, I used um, embroidery floss or like friendship making, friendship bracelet making thread or like just crochet thread. They're all three really, really similar. So I'm not sure which one I use because I use all of them a lot. But I use that as well as this, I believe it's a size two millimeter hook. For this one, I used a 4.5 millimeter hook and regular worsted weighted yarn. Now for the biggest one, I used two strands of the Bernat blanket yarn and a nine millimeter hook. I will now show you the size difference in these two versus the biggest one. And here is the largest size using the exact same pattern. This one's bigger than my head. This gal, by the way, if she hasn't sold yet, she will be available for purchase on my Etsy. Um, but as you can see, there are three different sizes of spooter, and they're all from the exact same pattern, with the only things that I changed being my yarn type and my hook size. Um... So you can size up or size your pattern down based off of your hook size and your yarn size. And I'll be going over that more in detail in this next section of the video. So it's pretty obvious how drastic the change is when you use a different yarn for the pattern. Obviously the yarn will be bigger or smaller based off of that. But your hook size actually also drastically affects how big your pattern is. So. This was made with nine millimeters, this one was made with five millimeters, and this one was made with 4.5, I believe. No, excuse me, 3.5 millimeters. And these are all pretty vastly different, and they are all made from the exact same skein of yarn. They are all 10 double crochets across and three rows up. The exact same, everything except for my hooks. So. As you can tell, there's pretty large differences between them, um, especially the nine millimeter to five millimeter. The 3.5 does have a difference, but it's not as drastic. So when it comes to sizing up or down your pattern, you're going to want to, depending on how drastic you want it, to change both your yarn and your hook. Now, if you want something that's not as drastic, then you're just gonna change your hook size. So some different ways that you can figure out exactly how small or how big your item will be compared to what the actual item is supposed to be is based off of your gauge. Not every pattern will have a gauge, but a lot of them do. Um, my patterns do not currently have gauges, but I'm gonna start adding them. So pretty much what a gauge is, is basically it'll tell you what size your little swatch should be. So for example, if the hook recommendation is a size five and it says your gauge should be that, well, let's say using, um, so this is my size five. So using a size five, your gauge should be this. And it'll tell you like, um, like I said here, 10 double crochets across and three rows up and it'll tell you how big that should be. So mine is roughly two inches wide and an inch thick. That's off a little bit, but that's fine. So everybody's stitches, their tightness is different. So that's why it's important to have a gauge on patterns because you might use 
a five and get this exact gauge or maybe you stitch a little tighter and you might use you might end up with something more like this so basically in order to tell how much bigger or smaller your item is you need to swatch both gauges so one gauge where you get the exact measurements that they ask for and then another gauge hoping for the measurements you're asking for so for example let's say this is the gauge for the regular plush using their exact measurements like this is the gauge for that and this is the gauge for a hook that you want to try using so the first method is simply comparing them so if you compare the two you can see that using a 9 millimeter hook against a 3.5 millimeter hook is roughly twice the size of course your stitches are going to be looser but still roughly twice the size 